What company will go out of business in the next 10 years? I'll tell you who will still be in business. That Persian rug store with the big ass going out of business sign in the window. I lost my job there Friday but Carvana. Redbox, every time I check a kiosk it's just full of a bunch of old movies. It seems the release to theaters then streaming killed the need to rent DVDs. Unfortunately, probably your local newspaper. Boston Market. Netflix's brick and mortar stores opening in 2025. Right Aid. Already closing a bunch of stores, I could see them all being gone within 10 years. Dickie's Barbecue. I thought their stuff was expensive for what they offer 13 years ago, not surprised to see the stores going out of business as of late. I hope it's Ticketmaster, never going to happen, but let a guy dream. Probably the one I work at since it's full of dumb fucks. We work. 90 of companies with business names ending in I. Peloton if no one buys them out. If the government follows through with its new tax program this next tax season then TurboTax and all of those other scam websites. Edit thanks for the chats. I'm done replying. Very exhausting. I now see why you people still use TurboTax. This one smoke shop two blocks over from here. Guitar Center. So much has been said about this in the past 5-7 years but they're still hanging on. How is Mattress Firm even still open? Airbnb, it's the biggest game in town now, for sure, but with shit customer service, zero cancellation policy, ridiculous prices, zero quality control, the second something better comes out, I hope they're going to go down. I hope it's fanatics. Ticketmaster. God I hope so. Crumble cookies. Probably the body shop what do they even sell? Acute dermatitis? Sears Kmart. Frontier Airlines. At this point, I'm convinced that they're just trying to milk as much dollar out of customers as possible before going under. Bob Evans. It's gone downhill hard and their base is dying off leaving because it's so shitty. Even my grandparents who used to say it was their favorite restaurant don't go anymore. Panera shitty overpriced food. Whichever one I invest in. Mark's Pizzeria. Fuck you Mark. Crumble cookies. Too niche and only a trend for TikTok Instagram Snapchat. The majority of pharmacy brands will be very quickly heading out the door. I would imagine that entire industry will collapse unless something radical happens, and they'll all end up as a single Optimar X branded pharmacy. X200B. Rite Aid already filed for bankruptcy protection and they are liquidating like crazy, Walgreens and CVS are losing billions a year and closing shops everywhere. X200B. Pretty soon you'll have nothing but a drive through window and one AI robot in a dark room serving up meds. Panera. Food isn't good enough for the price. Such a shame. Harley Davidson's target market will be about 90 soon. So them. If YouTube keeps increasing the number of those unskippable ads. Books a million, Radio Shack. Sears goes out of business like every year. That is their business. Please let it be Draft Kings. I'm going to go with Funko. How many fucking figurines could people need? Fuck those toys. X. Dunder Mifflin. They can't compete with the modern chains, and management is unwilling, or unable, to adapt. Their customers are dying off. Hopefully every god-awful company that advertises on podcasts currently. Of the few I've tried they're all overpriced bullcrap. Manscaped, Naturebox, HelloFresh. They can all go to hell.